Hello, everyone, and welcome to today's webinar, Lab Automation Solutions, How to Move from Time-Consuming Processes to Efficient Workflows. I am Matt Ashton of Lab Roots, and I'll be your moderator for today's event. Today's educational web seminar is presented by Lab Roots and brought to you by Molecular Devices. To learn more, visit MoleculaRevices.com. We encourage you to participate today by submitting any questions you may have during the presentation. To do so, simply type them into the ask a question box and click send. We'll answer as many questions as we have time for at the end of the presentation. You may also submit any technical issues here as well if you have trouble seeing or hearing the presentation. I'd like to now welcome our speakers, Beverly Pappas, Bio Research Field Application Scientist, Molecular Devices, and Michael Mendelson, Bio Research Field Application Scientist, Molecular Devices. Michael, you may now begin your presentation. Hello, everyone. My name is Michael Mendelson, and I'm a bioresearch field application scientist at Molecular Devices. My colleague Beverly Pappas and I are here today to speak with you about how you can move from time consuming processes to efficient workflows with laboratory automation solutions. Before we get started, we wanted to briefly go over the agenda of what will be discussed in today's webinar. We will be giving you an overview on why a lab would want to automate their workflow and give insight into what good, what good automation work cell entails. We will then provide a detailed overview of the component instruments that can be integrated into an automated work cell. To give more context into how you can combine these instruments to automate your workflow, We'll use a common application, the ELISA assay, to discuss how you can build a work cell to automate portions of or all of the assay workflow. To bring the webinar together, we will speak about how an automated work cell can provide a solution for two unique scenarios. And finally, we will conclude with a question and answer session. So please hold your questions until the end of the presentation. Why automate scientific workflows? Research today has adopted many different complex, high-throughput workflows to address scientific need. The complexities associated with high-throughput workflows create demands for scientists that can be addressed through automation. By automating a workflow, one can address a multitude of factors that can improve the overall process, address environmental factors, and monitor production. Some benefits of automating a workflow include increasing the throughput and efficiency of a specific application while also decreasing cost per assay. An automated work cell can include components that provide a high level of environmental control for assays that require specific temperatures and gas conditions. Automation also allows for increased consistency between samples and improved assay performance by offloading tasks to strategically defined instruments. This will also serve to reduce human error associated with scientific applications, while also increasing walkaway time for scientists or the technician, enabling them to perform other tasks while the automated workflow is in progress. It's important to remember that not all automation is the same. Different instrument components can be integrated into an automated work cell, providing specific advantages when included. When asking the question, what is good automation? Some factors to be considered include desired throughput, space utilization, the need for environmental control, and the level of human intervention needed in the application. In general, good automation should increase throughput, increase walkaway time, reduce human error, offer environmental control, improve space utilization, improve worker safety, and provide a full audit trail as well as produce high quality data. In the next section, we will discuss the individual components that can be included in an automated work cell and the advantages that they provide. We've just spoken about why you would want to, to automate an assay workflow and what good automation entails. In the coming slides, we'll provide you with a detailed description on the individual components that make up an automated work cell and the benefits that each instrument provides. The robotic arm or plate loader takes over for the scientists and helps bring together an automation work cell by employing processes to move your labware to each instrument within the work cell. 
When deciding on which robotic arm to position in the work cell, it is important to consider factors such as space requirement, flexibility of movement, and safety. The S-Lab plate handler is designed as an entry-level automation solution designed for multiple applications and ease of use. It allows the gripper arm to hold labware in either portrait or landscape orientation. The S-Lab employs its own controlling software that enables the, the robotic arm to work together with the other instruments in the work cell to complete an assay workflow. This robotic plate loader can handle up to 100 standard microplates without lids or 80 lidded microplates with an exchange time as quick as 16 seconds and a full cycle at approximately 32 seconds. As you will see later on in the webinar when we present different work cell configurations, the S-Lab plate loader is limited in terms of how you can expand your work cell in the future, and this is due primarily to the range of the robotic arm. The next robotic arm we'll be we will be presenting provides additional flexibility for the future due to its design and features. The PF400 robotic arm is a four-axis sample handler with a microplate gripper that is ideal for automation applications where ease of use, space requirements, and safety are critical. These robots are available in three different height configurations and can be integrated to a linear rail to service both single and multi-station work cells. The gripper allows the robot to handle a wide variety of microplate sizes without needing to change the gripper tool. The PF400 robot includes advanced safety features that disable the robot motor power when a minimal, unexpected force is encountered. This feature allows these robots to operate without safety shields in benchtop applications. Overall, if increased throughput and multi-component work cells are required, then the PF400 is the robotic arm that you will want to perform the tasks normally reserved to the scientist's own hands. In this slide, you're seeing a video example of how the PF400 moves the labware throughout a work cell. For assays that do not require environmental control, plate hotels can be used to store plates required for your application. One plate hotel provides ambient temperature storage for up to 20 plates. Plate hotels can be added over time to accommodate any increased throughput needs. The plate hotel can hold the labware in either landscape or portrait orientation and can hold any plate type. Assays that require a lidded plate can be done on an automation work cell by including a lid storage that contains at least four locations for the removed lids and one location for the action of removing the lid. The automation work cell can be trained to perform lid removal and re-addition of a lid within your workflow. If your assay requires sealed plates rather than lids, then a plate sealer and desealer can be integrated into the work cell. At Molecular Devices, we specialize in manufacturing industry-leading microplate readers. With a wide ranging portfolio to choose from, you have the flexibility to select a plate reader to achieve your application needs. It's possible to integrate any of the plate readers seen here into an automated workflow. Each reader provides its own unique advantages. Below each reader, you will see the read modes that they can operate within. Some factors that you will want to consider when choosing a reader include the read modes it operates within, the applications that you want to conduct in the present and the future, and assay sensitivity. Single mode plate readers can also be inc incorporated into automated workflows. The Aquamax microplate washer for molecular devices is a fully self-contained system configurable for both 96 and 384 well microplate washing applications. For biochemical assays, the washers are used to remove any unbound material and unreactive reagents in the wells of the microplate. For cell-based assays, the Aquamax has the option for a 96 or 384 well cell wash head with angled pins that allow gentle washing of weakly adherent cell types. The Aquamax does not require any external pumps to operate, thereby minimizing its footprint. The 96 and 384 well wash heads can be installed within seconds without tools, calibration, or alignment. 
The design of the Aquamax allows for aspiration and dispensation of all wells in a simultaneous fashion leading to high precision assays and faster microplate processing without any mechanical plate indexing or quadrant processing. With four fluid inlets, the Aquamax can operate with two distinct buffers, a cleaning solution and water to rinse the lines. Automated work cells can include automated incubators that will assist in providing environmental control. The Laconic STX series automated incubator provides a complete solution for controlled environmental automated storage for integration into an automated work cell. We partner with Lyconic as the XTS line is the most widely used and most complete solution for controlled environmental automated storage in laboratory automation. The relatively small size of the STX line make them suitable for small scale integration, miniaturized applications, and short or long term incubation assays. The STX series of incubators offers an array of climate options that can accommodate temperatures as high as 70 degrees Celsius and a maximum humidity of 95%. With the Lyconic STX series, barcode reading is also possible on the automated incubators. Adding liquid handling capabilities to an automated work cell can serve to fully automate an assay workflow. The Hamilton Microlab STAR is a flexible and modular liquid handling platform that can be changed or upgraded over time to accommodate changing workflows. An easy to change layout along with the modular design allows for a broad range of setups that can include different microplate formats, tube holders, disposable tip stackers, reagent troughs, as well as heating and cooling modules. The Hamilton Star includes a portfolio of integrated tool options, including an automated plate sealer and incubator shaker. The pipetting platform can be configured to accommodate 96 and 384 well plates with tip sizes ranging as low as half a microliter and as high as five milliliters while also including tools to automate microplate handling, tube handling, and decapping. Each component of an automated work cell has their own software for operation in a standalone environment. Using the APIs, or application programming interface, of each software, the scheduling software is able to perform processes for each instrument and labware storage to run the designated assay workflow. Essentially, the scheduling software will be performing the commands to move a piece of labware throughout the assay. Controlling software serves as a central point of control for an entire work cell, putting together each instrument in a coherent and easy to define manner. What you're seeing in the video below is an assay workflow being set up in the generic controlling software. Once you set up your workstation, the controlling software will handle all the processes within the workflow. In the next few slides, my colleague Beverly Pappas will provide you with an overview of a commonly used assay that we're going to be using as an example to present some configurable automated solutions. In these next few slides, we'll review what an ELISA is and provide a general overview of a standard ELISA protocol. What is an ELISA? An ELISA is an enzyme-linked immunoabsorbent assay that is a common application used to quantify a detectable antigen within a sample. There are many ELISA kits available commercially that can detect a wide variety of antigens in different sample types. A typical ELISA protocol can take one to two days to complete. Hands-on time can vary depending on the incubation times and whether or not certain steps are automated, such as washing the microplate. Here is a general schematic of a typical ELISA protocol utilizing a plate washer. 
In this example, the researcher will add an antibody to a coated plate and allow that plate to incubate for 2 to 24 hours. Following this incubation step, the standards and samples are added, and another incubation step will occur, which typically takes one to two hours. After this incubation step, the plate can be washed either by hand or using a plate washer. In this example, we are depicting the Aquamax. Following the plate washing, the detection antibody is then added, and another washing step occurs. Finally, the substrate and stop solution are added to the microplate. Afterwards, the plate is ready to be read by a microplate reader. Following reading the plate, data analysis is done in order to quantify the unknown samples compared to the standard curve. When assessing one 96 well microplate, this protocol and the required hands-on time may seem doable. However, as your throughput increases, this manual workflow is not scalable. In the next slides, we will share different work cell solutions and their benefits for automating your ELISA protocols. Thanks, Beverly. Now that we're familiar with the ELISA workflow thanks to Beverly's presentation, we will provide you with a few different work cell configurations that can be used to automate all of or portions of an ELISA. Creating an automation work cell can be a piece-by-piece -piece process for some. At Molecular Devices, we offer configuration options that each offer their own benefits in regards to throughput and walkaway time for a scientist. We can build flexible, scalable, future-proof workflows backed by decades of consultative expertise to help you design and implement work cells that incorporate industry-leading technology to achieve your goals. In the next few slides, we'll be walking through a few of these configurations and their advantages as well as limitations to performing a defined task such as an ELISA. The first work cell we're going to be presenting is the single step work cell. The single step automation work cell employs a multi-mode microplate reader, a microplate washer, the, and the S-Lab robot. This configuration is defined as a single step because the S-Lab robot will serve to move your labware from its hotel storage to the Aquamax for microplate washing and then back to the microplate reader to collect the data. This setup allows, also allows for easy access to the injector port on dual injector capable plate readers. The single step work cell will use the S-Lab controlling software to run through the workflow. Within the ELISA workflow, using the single step will re still require human intervention. As you can see, the ELISA workflow will call the scientist or the technician to add the sample, antibody, and substrate into the microplate manually during the ELISA workflow. The single step system will serve to move the plate from the hotel to the washer, then back to the hotel, so the scientist or technician can perform the addition of antibody. After the scientist or technician stores the labware back into the plate hotel, the S-Lab robot will move the plate to the microplate washer for its second walk. The scientist or technician will have to manually add the substrate to the labware before placing it back in the hotel so that the robot can shuttle the plates into the microplate reader for data collection. This work cell does not offer much room for the addition of other instruments over time primarily due to the reach of the robotic arm. For this reason, we're going to be presenting another work cell in the next slide that is a little bit more amenable to additions in the future. The next work cell we're going to be presenting is the Future-Proof Advanced Work Cell. This work cell employs a multi-mode microplate reader, a microplate washer, two 20 ambient storage plate hotels, a lid hotel with a D-lid station, and a P400 robotic arm. This configuration will use the generic controlling software to build and operate the assay workflow. Contrary to the single step work cell, the advanced work cell is compatible with lidded microplates. With the increased flexibility provided by the PF400 robotic arm, this work cell is amenable to further integration over time, 
through the addition of environmental control, increased throughput by adding more plate hotels, and uh, the addition of liquid handling capabilities. The advanced workflow configuration requires a similar amount of human intervention to the single step work cell. The scientist or technician will still have to manually perform the separate additions of sample, antibody, and substrate, while the PF400 robotic arm shuttles plates from the ambient plate hotel storage to the Aquamax microplate washer and to the Spectrumax multimode microplate reader over time. This work cell can be used as a primary starting point and be used to build on more instrumentation over time to provide a fully automated walkaway solution. The next example is another configuration, but also it's gonna be an example of how you could add to the advanced work cell by including environmental control. The work cell we're presenting in this slide is the advanced two-step EC or environmental control work cell. This work cell employs a multi-mode microplate reader, a microplate washer, two 20 ambient storage plate hotels, a lid hotel and D-lid station, a port PF400 robotic arm, and a Lyconic SDX series automated incubator. Compared to the advanced work cell configuration presented in the last slide, the advanced two-step environmental control work cell provides additional flexibility for cell-based assays and bioassays that may require specific temperature or humidity conditions. This configuration is dynamic in that more throughput and instrumentation can be integrated over time. The advanced environmental workflow configuration requires a similar amount of human intervention to the previously mentioned work cells. The scientist or technician will still have to manually perform the separate additions of sample, antibody, and substrate, while the PF400 uh, robotic arm shuttles plates from the ambient plates hotel storage to the Aquamax microplate washer and Spectrumax multimode microplate reader. The major change in the workflow comes with the addition of an automated incubator. The Lyconic SDX automated incubator allows the work cell to accommodate cell-based assays and bioassays that may require a defined level of environmental control. In this case, the automated incubator will house the plates and transfer them to the PF400 robotic arm, which will then shuttle them to each of the other instruments within the work cell. The next two work cells that we will be presenting offer significantly increased walkaway time due to the inclusion of a dedicated liquid handler to the work cell. The high throughput screening or HTS environmental control work cell includes a multi-mode microplate reader, a microplate washer, the PF400 robotic arm, Lyconic STX series incubator, and a Hamilton Star automated liquid handler. The addition of liquid handling capabilities allows for automated sample and reagent handling, resulting in a reduction in human error and vastly increased walkaway time in comparison to the already presented work cells. The Lyconic Automated Incubator also provides this work cell with environmental control to handle cell-based and biological assays that require specific temperatures or humidity levels. This, this work cell is limited in throughput by the amount of storage available within the automated incubator. As you can see in the workflow image above, in the context of an ELISA where low volume reagent additions are required, the scientist or technician is only needed to begin the workflow. Once the plate is placed in the automated incubator for storage, the Hamilton Automated Liquid Handler will take the plates and perform the additions of sample, antibody, and substrate, while also shuttling the plates to the Aquamax where unbound material and unselected reagents in the wells will be washed away by, uh, before reading the microplate on the Spectrumax Multimode Microplate Reader. The final configuration for automating an ELISA workflow that we will present is the fully automated multiple step high throughput screening work cell. Like the high throughput work cell just presented, this work cell allows for an ELISA to be fully automated from start to finish. This work cell includes a Spectrumax multi-mode microplate reader, 
Aquamax micro plate washer, four 20 ambient plate hotel storage, a lid hotel with D lid station, a P400 robot, PF400 robot, Hamilton liquid handler, and a Lyconic STX automated incubator. This work cell can accommodate more throughput than any we have presented thus far, while also allowing for increased throughput over time through the addition of a, uh, through the addition of more plate hotels. This configuration is the most complete work cell presented thus far, providing a complete walkaway solution with increased throughput and assay flexibility. Putting it all together, the HTSX multiple step work cell provides you with a complete walkaway solution for an ELISA workflow. The scientist or technician is only needed to begin the workflow. Once the plate is placed in automated incubator for storage, the Hamilton automated liquid handler will take plates and perform the additions of sample, antibody, and substrate, while also shuttling plates to the Aquamax where unbound material and unreactive reagents in the wells will be washed away before reading the microplate on the microplate reader. The plate hotels in this scenario can increase capacity by allowing for storage of up to 80 plates within the plate hotels, addi additional to the storage that would occur within the automated incubator. During the next section of the webinar, my colleague Beverly Pappas will present a few scenarios and take you through how the assay workflows presented in the scenarios can be automated by the instrumentation presented thus far. Outside of these existing work cells, Molecular Devices also offers customizable solutions for other applications or workflows. These next few slides will highlight unique ELISA custom options. Please note that we also have work cell solutions for other assays. If you're interested in learning more, please reach out. Here is an example in which the customer already has a molecular devices plate reader and washer. They are now interested in automating their workflow to decrease hands-on time and increase their throughput. For this customer, the ELISA HTSX work cell will meet their needs and can easily be integrated with their existing plate reader and washer. This custom solution will include a liquid handler capable of loading their samples and assay reagents, plate hotels, and a robotic arm for moving the plates to the designated instruments. These additional instruments will enable the customer to have a complete walkaway solution. In this example, the customer is running an IgG ELISA assay using 96 well plates. The customer plans to have researchers load samples and would like to automate the workflow downstream of this sample addition. Specifically, they would like to automate the addition of assay solutions, plate sealing and removal pre and post incubation steps, plate washing, and reading the plate. Since the customer will be automating the steps downstream of sample addition, a larger liquid handler is not needed. Instead, a custom work cell has been designed. This work cell includes a reagent dispenser in which the end user will be able to add unique solutions per the protocol, a plate sealer and peeler for adding and removal of plate seals respectively, an Aquamax plate washer for washing their plates, and an, and an absorbent plate reader. Plate hotels are added per the customer's specified capacity and a robotic arm for moving the plates to the designated instruments. This concludes our presentation on how you can move from time-consuming processes to efficient workflows with laboratory automation solution. If you're interested in learning more, please reach out to myself or Michael via email. Thank you. Thank you, Beverly and Michael, for your informative presentations. We will now start the live Q&A portion of the webinar with Beverly. If you have a question you'd like to ask, please do so now. Just click on the Ask a Question box located on the far left of your screen. We'll answer as many of your questions as we have time for. Okay, let's get started, Beverly. Here is the first question. If we decide to purchase just a plate reader, are we able to add components and create an automated work cell over time? Oh, 
hold up here. I think you might be muted here. Let's see if we can get that fixed. Let's see, let's try to, yeah, we still can't hear you. Um, Still cannot. So it does look like we do we are having some technical difficulties on your end. Let's see if we can hear you now. Wanna try it again, Beverly? Oh, there we go. Okay, we're back. Okay. Uh, thanks for bearing with us. Let's uh let's restart from question one. Uh, you can respond after I read it. If we decide to purchase just a plate reader, are we able to add components and create an automated work cell over time? Definitely. So as we saw um, in the presentation with the first customer example, if you're just interested in getting a plate reader right now and then you plan to move forward or in the future um, want to do automation, we're definitely a company that can grow with your lab. Okay. Thank you. Uh, question two, is it possible to have an automated solution that can cover multiple applications? Yes, it definitely can. So I know in the presentation we featured Eliza's, but there definitely are options in order to cover different workflows. As you start to expand your work cell to include these different workflows, please reach out to us so that way we can make sure you have the right equipment as well as the scheduling software is able to handle these new steps that may be incorporated with the different assays. Okay, thank you. Question number three. Can we integrate instruments from other vendors that were not mentioned in this webinar to a work cell? It is possible. We would need to know the specific um, instrument as well as if there are specific drivers that are able to be integrated with our scheduling software that we mentioned in the um, presentation. But that's a conversation that you can have with our workflow um, solutions team that will be able to further assist and be able to let you know if that's possible. Okay, and now it looks like we have time for just one more question here. Uh, what is the next step if I'm ready to move forward with an automated solution? Yes, as you can see on the screen, feel free to reach out to us either at info at moldev.com. Alternatively, you can reach out to myself or Michael via email and we'll be able to connect you with our automation workflow specialists to be able to begin those conversations. Perfect. Thank you, Beverly. Mm -hmm. And lastly, do you have any final comments for our audience here today? Um, it was great interacting with you all today. Please, again, if you have any questions about automation or making your workflows more robust and scalability, please, again, reach out to us either at info at moldev.com or myself or Michael um, via our emails. It's our first name, period, our last name at moldev.com. And can't wait to hear from you. Okay, perfect. Looks like it wraps it up. Uh, we wanted to say thank you again, Beverly, for your time and your important research. We would also like to thank LabRoots and our sponsor, Molecular Devices, for underwriting today's educational webcast. Before we go, I'd like to thank the audience for joining us today and for their interesting questions. Questions we did not have time for today and those submitted during the on-demand period will be addressed by the speaker with the contact information you provided at the time of registration. This webcast can be viewed on demand. LabRoots will alert you via email when it's available for replay. We encourage you to share that email with your colleagues who may have missed today's live event. Until next time, goodbye. <laughs>